Hey guys, I'm on the pilot right now and I'm on the way to pick up some uh, beer differential fluid and uh, some uh, oil uh, filter for the uh, Acura MDX that uh, we're going to be working on this weekend. Again, it's another Friday off and uh, you know, it's just awesome to be able to work on the cars again uh, and uh, stay tuned. Okay, to the dealership, guys. Let's go to the park department and see if they do have the fluid that we need in the process. Okay, this is not my main dealership, but this is the closest one to my um, my house. So uh, I figured uh, I'll drop by here. You got him? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Three of the ETF. Six of the gas that just tape on the side there. Okay. Awesome. And then the one uh hope of it. With that, yeah, we got two of those, that's perfect. And then yeah. So while we may be looking at the 7281. Alright, perfect. 7281. EPS. I'll just do um Debit on this. What winter does to a car see how filthy our pilot is guys it's insane it's so insane as you guys can see crazy dirty crazy dirty guys well folks we got all the fluids we need uh, for the job that we'll be doing today uh, I get the chance to uh, check out the, uh, the RDX's there's uh, several colors they have there, pretty cool cars. I believe they're the turbocharged as well. Pretty cool cars, guys. Uh, Interior-wise, that's beautiful. And uh, yeah, you, I hope you enjoyed that video that I took there. Um, yeah, looking forward to actually work on the uh, Acura MDX since the last time I did the old change, you know. And uh, I also have uh, brought the car in at one point to take a look at a couple of things. I might as well give you an update on those. I've had some issue with the uh, the steering wheels. Uh, there was some s slight clunk. If the steering wheels are loaded, you could feel when you hit the bump, uh, you could feel some uh, slight uh, movement or vibration or a clunk on the steering wheels and they were able to figure out what that problem was. And technically there were some uh, off the um, uh, manufacturing plant they uh, probably forgot to put uh, enough grease in the uh, the joint steering joint that uh, causing it so because uh, it's been happening since day one and it was just getting worse uh, at some point there and so that was taken care of uh, nothing nothing major there I also brought the car in for some issues in relation to the nine speed clutch system guys I know that this is a, a prone problem with a lot of the gen uh, 3 Acura MDX for some reason you know the different modes the sport mode the comfort mode and the normal mode uh, you know the modes it does get confused uh, especially when you're trying to you know drive the car a little more spirited and uh, for some reason uh, the transmission gets uh, confused in the process where after you uh, decided to now drive normally and the car for some reason starts jerking around uh, thinking that you're still trying to drive as aggressive as possible unlike the Golf R guys where you can drive the car as hard as you can 
uh, and using the different modes and then we switch modes uh, it automatic automatically adjusts to the proper modes and uh, so the dealer uh, technically have uh, upgraded the uh, the software for the transmission and uh, yeah it uh, it started working so at least that fixed the problem and I can pretty much attest to that so if you guys are experiencing that same problem on your Acura MDX um, yeah, bring it in and get that checked because there is a, a newer software upgrade that uh, does help uh, in the process. Um, yeah, long-term issue with this MDXs, I figured uh, I'll share as well. Every time I drive the car to uh, Vancouver and through the Coquihalla, down the hill there and the windy roads, uh, and I, I always love driving down there, um, for some reason, the uh, the brakes, especially the front brakes, uh, the rotors, they they do warp out, and uh, I don't know why this happened twice already. One time earlier in the, uh, the early stage uh, when we first bought the car, and now just recently over the summer when we went to Vancouver, uh, the the rotors just again warped out, and they do vibrate uh, every time you uh, hit the brake uh, hard. So yeah, unfortunately guys, I brought into the dealer. Uh, they didn't really replace it, they just resurfaced it. And it's just a band-aid solution. I would say it didn't really fix the problem. Uh, it minimized it, but other than that, the problem's still there. So I don't know, I might just go and replace them with an aftermarket uh, StopTech uh, brakes, uh, brake rotors and pads that I've done on this Pilot, which uh, has been doing really well, by the way, guys. I didn't do any video on uh, what I've done for the pilot, but uh, yeah, I've been ha so happy with the stop tech uh, brakes, and uh, I'll probably be doing that in the process. So, anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned for the whole work on the Acura MDX uh, shortly here. the rear uh, differential now all 
All right, the drain plug has been cracked loose. Um, so basically guys, um, I'll just loosen the, uh, our, uh, uh, first of all, loosen our uh, pill plug all the way. So, oops, of course, uh, oh no, dropping tools in the process. anything all right there we go so that way we can breathe all right it can breathe and uh, it can drain faster and it's always a good idea to crack the uh the, the fill plug first just in case you can't uh Oops, there's a bit of fluid coming out. So what I'll do is I'll just start draining here. And uh, excuse my hand. Start draining so that way we can also let the air in in the process because it's going to spill. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty brand new. Now. Loosen on. There it is. You can see, guys, it's uh, flowing nicely now. Let that drain. Well, folks, time to put a drain plug in. Move our pan out there so we don't accidentally drop it in. All right, nice and snug for now. We can torque that in later. Guys, we're all done here. Thank you for sticking with me in this vlog, and I uh, hope you enjoy this little um, adventure that we had on the Acura MDX. Uh, again, stay tuned for the how-to or the DIY video on the rear differential fluid. It's going to be slightly different than, well, technically almost the same, just the orientation of where the plugs are uh, in the process. But other than that, same as the, the pilot. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Until next time, peace out. Maybe this feeling's overdue. It's right.